name's Alana. I'm here to help you get ready for your upcoming virtual lagoon quest. So I'm here to talk about a couple of different things that you're going to see on your trip, um, especially the equipment, safety, and water quality. Now, the big aspect of this trip is to go seining. So as you can see, we have a very large seine net with us. It is actually 20 feet long. It's longer than what you see right now, but we have it rolled up a little bit. So we're going to talk a little bit about the seine net. As you can see, we have floaties on the top. That keeps the top buoyant. It keeps it open. And at the bottom, we have sinkers, just like that. So that's going to help keep our net open between the floaties and the sinkers. It's going to help keep our net nice and wide to help us maximize what we catch. Okay. When we hold the net, you're going to see that the hand behind us is on the top and the hand in front of us is in the middle, and that's just because it helps us with our stance. So we wanna stay far away from each other. We wanna make sure that our net is nice and tight, just like that, okay? If we get too close together, our net tends to drop just like this, and the fish will swim over it. So these are things that scientists have to think about. They have to work together in order to make sure that they get the best results. So it's like that with any science. Now we're also going to talk a little bit about safety because that's also important for us while we're out there. So on my feet, closed toed shoes, especially while we're out in the water, the water isn't always very clear. So I'm not going to be able to necessarily see what's down there and I want to make sure I keep my feet safe. Okay, so you won't see us out there barefoot in the water and that's just to keep us safe. Uh, we're also never going to go any deeper than our waists and that's because it gets too hard to pull this giant net. It doesn't look very big, but it gets very, very heavy when we're out there. So we're not going to go much deeper than our waists um, and we're always going to make sure that we're communicating with one another. So just like you have to in school, it's very important you talk with each other and make sure everybody's on the same page. So. Another thing you're gonna see us doing out there is what we like to call the stingray shuffle. You may have heard of this really cool move and it's literally how it sounds. We're gonna be shuffling our feet the entire time, which means we're not gonna be doing this. You're not gonna see our feet come out of the water or our knees popping out of the water. We're actually gonna be shuffling our feet so our feet don't leave the ground. Now we do that mainly because we wanna protect our feet for the same reason we're wearing shoes. If there's a rock or a stick or something I can't see, I don't wanna step on it and trip. I wanna bump it with my toe and make sure I go around it. That, it does protect me from stingrays because if I step on a stingray, that's not very kind. It may sting me in order to defend itself. So we wanna avoid that obviously. So by shuffling my feet, if I accidentally bonk him, he's gonna swim away and there's nothing I gotta worry about there. So we always want to make sure we respect the wildlife in the water, especially since we're entering their home. So now I'm going to talk to you a little bit about water quality. So before every program, we collect a water sample from the Indian River Lagoon and we run a couple of scientific tests on it that we actually submit into a database. So I have in front of me a couple of those different devices that we use to collect that data, including one of the data sheets. So we record all this information and we submit it so that scientists can use to help study the health of the lagoon. We'll collect everything from the temperature of the air as well as the temperature of the water. So we have some thermometers here to help us with that. We jot down notes such as, has it rained in the past couple of days? What is the wind like? Is it cloudy outside? Because weather does definitely impact our lagoon's health, especially if it's raining a lot or it's not raining enough. We also write things down such as humidity. Is it humid outside? Is there a lot of moisture in the air? Because that can definitely affect things like our clouds as well as adding more rain into our lagoon. We'll also do tests such as salinity tests. So if salinity is the amount of salt in the lagoon because we know our lagoon is brackish, right? So it's a mix of fresh water and salt water. So we need to know exactly how much salt is in the water and that can change every day. So we do run our salinity tests and we like to use a refractometer, which looks like this. All right, kind of looks like a spyglass, pretty cool. Like I mentioned earlier, we test the wind. We'll actually use an anemometer such as this. You can see that the fan is already blowing. We have a pH meter. So this tells us what the pH of the water is. And if you're not familiar with pH, it basically tells us is the water acidic or not, because that can definitely play a very important part in our Indian River Lagoon. And then one of the more fun experiments that I like to do is we test the turbidity. So if you're familiar with this, this is called a secchi disc. This is what we use when we have a lot of water and we can use this to test a big volume of water. But our lagoon is not very deep, so it doesn't work well for us. So instead we use a secchi disc in a tube called a turbidity tube. So our little secchi disc is here at the bottom and we basically just fill this all the way up to the top. We look down 
And if I can't tell the difference between black and white, it just means that I need to let some water out until I can. And so we actually take the measurement here in centimeters. So these are all tests uh, that scientists will conduct every day to study the lagoon, and we want to help them out. So we take it for them every time we come out here and do a program, and we submit it into a database. So by doing our virtual Lagoon Quest program, you're already helping science by helping us, which is pretty awesome.